victor. Time you discover the hero you are. You should probably move. Victor Stone, AKA Cyborg, he's a college athlete, a quarterback for Gotham City, he was in an accident and was severely injured. To save his life, his father merged his body with advanced alien technology. Half man, half machine, but he's all superhero. Cyborg is totally unique. I've been doing some tracking. What you're looking for is sticking to the dead zones. No one else can do what you do. You can find them. He's a technopath. He's able to interface with any form of technology. Relax, Alfred. I'll take it from here. Uh, d do I know you? He can transform his body into different weapons. We're gonna bring in the big guns. Those are very big guns. Cyborg is the perfect combination of the power of technology and the strength of the human heart. We need you, Victor. And maybe you need us. He's ready to help save the world. Never a dull moment. You guys better watch out. Justice is coming. Hey everybody, new Justice League trailer just hyping up Cyborg and Wonder Woman and their hunt for the mother boxes. But there's also a really big Superman Easter egg in there that you may have spotted. So there's a new round of the ticket giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on the video. I'll announce a new winner at the end of this. But there's a surprising amount of new stuff in here and you can kind of tell how they've started to finish the movie. They've color corrected a lot of it so it looks way different from the earlier trailers. The colors just pop a lot more like when the back gate of the flying box comes down and they all walk off. We've seen the shot a couple times but now it just looks so much better. That's all about post-production, but they answer a couple of big questions in the movie, like what's happened to the mother box that was used to create Cyborg. So part of it is literally inside of him, so it's almost like Steppenwolf won't be able to get what he needs from it without taking some of it from Cyborg. But speaking of which, Steppenwolf shows up in a lot of the scenes that are in this trailer in the background. Like you see him down in this warehouse here, he fires a shot down into Steppenwolf surrounded by a bunch of parademons. The way they cut it is a little misleading because then there are a bunch of big explosions going on right after this scene. And I don't necessarily think that those scenes are happening one right after in the movie. You also see him drop down into that big tunnel fight sequence that we've seen going back all the way to the first trailer. Like the one where they all jump down into that big cylinder. You see a really good shot of Steppenwolf here. I'm guessing this is actually from the nest of Parademons. We've seen a wide shot of that in the more recent trailers. But in this scene here with this red sky background on whatever this is, it's either a ship or it's a building. You see Steppenwolf crouch down behind him like he's kicked his ass and he's taking off. And then you see the other scenes that seem like they're from earlier in the movie where Wonder Woman is trying to recruit him for the Justice League. No one can do what you do. We need help finding them. The things that you're looking for are using the dead zones to travel. The thing he's probably talking about are Steppenwolf and his forces traveling through dead zones where they can't track with satellites. There are a couple of funny Superman Easter eggs. You may have spotted these in earlier trailers, but they're just featured much more prominently in this footage. So you see this police officer here that Cyborg saves somewhat early in the movie. That's Mark McClure, the original Jimmy Olsen from the Christopher Reeve Superman films. Lois Lane, say hello to Clark Kent. 41B. Hi, uh, Lane. Remember my dynamite expose on the sex and drug orgies in the series and stuff? Remember the scene? Hey, do it. Jimmy Olsen, photographer. Oh, hi. Clark Kent, nice to meet you. But he also came on the Smallville TV show to play a Kryptonian during season seven. The funny thing about that is that it's almost like the old TV actors from the older Superman TV shows now get to play Superman super-powered Kryptonian characters in the newer shows. Like Erica Durance, Lois Lane from Smallville, is now Supergirl's mother on the Supergirl TV show. Kara. Kara, I love you. Kara, because of the Earth's yellow sun, you will have great powers on this planet. You will do extraordinary things. You've never wanted Tom Welling to come back and play a Kryptonian again on the TV shows more than now. And you may have spotted this earlier, but this is just a different angle of it. In Batman's armor room here, you see the new tactical armor on the right side here. Like he says he's bringing the big guns out. He's talking about the other Justice League members. But behind him here, you see this classic samurai armor, which reminds you of Michael Keaton Batman's armor room. Where do you think that's from? 
Japan. Why? Because I bought it in Japan. But it's actually draped in a kimono with Superman colors. And I know there are a lot of other theories about things that he's looking at. This is that Alfred scene that everybody keeps pointing back to, thinking it's different characters. Supergirl. There was a Supergirl at one time in the ancient history of the Snyderverse version of the DCEU, but it's not officially canonical to the films. I believe it was included in some of the extra comic books that they released with Batman v Superman and Man of Steel. So it goes way, way back and they haven't really followed up on that. So technically you could say that there is a Supergirl somewhere or there has been one on this earth. But as for all the cyborg stuff, I honestly, I think the future of this character is best served in somebody else's film before he gets his own solo film. Supposedly, they're still on track to do a cyborg movie, but I think that's 2020. It's like Green Lantern core territory. Like they say they're doing a Green Lantern movie, but it's literally like one of the furthest things off that they're going to do. They haven't even announced that they're doing the second Justice League movie. They are working on scripts, but that just means that they're preparing for whether or not they actually do it depending on when it gets made. So depending on the success of this Justice League movie, you'll see Justice League 2 either in like two or three years or they could decide to wait to do it till after they do a bunch more solo movies, after they do another Superman movie. Obviously, we know Wonder Woman 2 is coming. They could wait as much as four or five years. So I think it just depends on how things go with this movie. But early tracking is going really well, so you'll hear more about that in the next couple of weeks. And I haven't had a chance to see the movie yet, but I'm expecting that I'll get to go to a critic screening sometime before the movie comes out. So whenever the embargo is up, I'll do my non-spoilery review. But I think that's going to be the week of the release. So it comes out on the 17th. I probably won't be able to post that non-spoilery review to like the Tuesday of that week. So just a couple days before before the movie comes out, which if I remember correctly was the same deal with the Wonder Woman movie, which was pleasantly surprising. I think that they were worried that people would hate it, but everybody loved it, so they just moved the embargo up. They're like, okay, you can talk about it as much as you want. Everybody go see it. This is going to be great. And it became one of the highest grossing DC films of all time. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about Cyborg so far, and which movie do you want him to pop up in next? Honestly, I think the Flashpoint movie is probably the best place. We already know we're getting Wonder Woman in that, so it makes sense that they would include some of the other Justice League members if they're going to do comic book Flashpoint. But what'll happen next is, is I have some new Thor Ragnarok to post. Tomorrow will be Flash Day, so there'll be a whole bunch of that. Congratulations to the latest giveaway winner, Tam, my boy. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. You can click here for brand new Reverse Flash, and you can click here for the trailer for the next Flash with that Batman name drop. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.